Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Before we start today's video, please support me and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. One of the things I really enjoy doing is going to flea markets and auctions, and sometimes you end up parking a mile or so away. There's been a few times when I passed on buying some stuff because it was too hard to get back to my truck. So I had his hand truck laying around, and I thought, well, this would be nice. But sometimes in the flea markets, auction sites, they're, they're kind of muddy, or dirty gravel, and no way would this tire work. It just gets stuck. So I went to my Ultra Mega Big Box Center, and I got two of these tires. They're a little bit wider and a bigger diameter, and I think this will really help. I just can't take these wheels off and put these on because of different height. Also, it has to be removed farther back. Nice thing about these tires is they have a zert for grease fittings and they take air. So I got an axle, a 5 eighths in diameter. My material rack, and I got some flat bar that's 3 sixteenths by 1 inch. I'll bend this and weld it on. And then I notice back here there's some washers that keeps the hub off of this bracket. These wheels have a deep dish, so I'm going to have to have a spacer between the new wheel and the new bracket. For that, I'm just going to have some conduit I got laying around, and that will slide over the axle. I don't want the end of the conduit going into the bearing here, so I'll put a washer on there. To fasten the wheel to the axle, I'll drill a hole and use a cotter pin. That way it can be easily removed if I want to change out the tire or any other modifications down the road. So first we've got to cut these welds off and remove this old bracket, axle, and wheels. Then we'll take the flat bar, bend it, and weld it to the frame and weld it to the axle. Let's go do some cutting. The first weld we're going to cut is back here. I'm using my angle grinder with a diamond wheel. Then I'll come back with a flapper wheel and smooth out any rough areas. The old wheels were cut off and the welds were grown flush. Now I'm just laying out the new wheels. This piece of particle board and this little strip of plywood here is keeping the wheels from going in front of these tubes here. They're just up here for spacers while I mock up. This is my new flat bar and that's gonna be welded in the same area. So I made a line here where I wanna bend that. And I'm gonna move it down, I think another inch. This part here is too long after I bend it I can always cut a little bit off, but it's harder to weld more on. Let's go over to the bender. With my layout line behind this pin, I took my combination square, and that comes to nine inches. I want to make two of these, so I want to be able to repeat the process. I have a stop here, so I don't overswing my angle. So after bending and checking and bending and checking, I'm pretty close. I think what I gotta do is trim an inch off of the bottom here that I added, and then come back and measure the top. Bad for my first try. Well, after a few trips to the bandsaw, an angle grinder, some trimming and notching, I think this is gonna fit pretty good. I gotta come in here and clean off the mill scale and then figure out some way to clamp this 
so everything is nice and straight and even. Well, it's time to do a little welding here. So I got the hand truck squared up on my table. I put a notch on the top and the bottom so it kind of fits around the tube. Down here I got a 5 8 washer, a conduit spacer, and air 5 8 washer. So if I position this, slide my square in, the square here is going to stop it from racking this way. I think all I got to do, put a little weld in there, put a little tack on there, and then do the other side. With the top two tacked in there, I'll change my setup and weld the bottom ones. With a hand truck laying flat on my welding table, I'm using two squares again to keep this bracket at a 90 degrees to everything else. With the two brackets tacked on pretty good, now we have to turn our attention to the axle. The axle is going to be welded on, but first I got to drill some holes for cotter pins on the end. Let's go over to Bridgeport Mill and drill a couple holes. I'm going to drill 11 fourths, 5 16 from the end, but first I'm going to center drill. Let's check our cotter pin. Perfect. Now on the bottom here, I kicked up a little burr. I'll take that to the belt grinder and clean that up. Well, this is the money shot. This is what it all comes down to. All my layout and measuring and fabrication. If this well is screwed up, it won't ride straight. I removed some plating on the area I'm gonna weld. So I'm gonna put a tack on each of these and I'm going to try to hand truck out and see if it works right before I finish all the welds. This project turned out pretty good. You got to be careful when you're welding on thin wall tubing like this. A couple places I burned through. But I was able to fix that up. This is going to be real handy working in the yard, moving planters around, moving welding tanks around. This is MKE Gadgets. Thanks for viewing, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.